All right, welcome back guys to another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. I know, well, two things. I know it's been a little bit since I've actually made a video, I've been a little preoccupied with stuff. And then it's been quite a while since I've actually made a tier list. And as you can see here, um, yeah, we have some updating to do. And I have, all, I don't have every single new legend that's come out since I've made my tier list. This is all, I guess, the important one, so to speak. Um, I don't have some of these units, that's fine, whatever, no big deal. But this is essentially what we're going to be going over with. And we will start with, I think, the insignificant ones first. We'll start with Apu. Um, he's just a Pirate Rumble unit. That's literally what he is. Same thing with Kawamatsu. Pirate Rumble, that's essentially just where you want them. Um, I don't have these, obviously, if you've seen my videos... You know that I don't have these specifically organized in a certain uh, situation. Actually, we could take you off because you actually have gotten six plus I have you here. But we'll get to that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So Big Mom, six plus. I think it's okay. The six plus was decent. Um, I think she's just a good unit, honestly. I don't think she's borderline or anything. I'll actually probably put her around here. I think that's where she sits. That's where she just stands. Um, same with the six plus of Cavendish and Bartolomeo. I actually think they are a better unit. Um, I'm willing to put them up relatively high about here. I do think, um, oh, you actually got six plus as well, but we will find out if you are, I'll just put these guys here. Um, anyways, I think Bartol Cavendish are a good unit. Uh, I really like what they did with their 6+. plus. Very, very good. Now, let's do Jewelry Bonnie. Bonnie, I think, is good. Um, she's definitely a better captain, in my opinion, than a sub. Um, I'm willing to put her relatively high-ish. Um, thinking right here. I don't know why you're here. You got 6+. plus. I'll put you down here. But, yeah. Bart's, or Bonnie, she's a good unit. She's very, very good. Next up, let's go ahead and go. Uh, let's go Ezo. As you can see, I'm trying to skip over some of the major units that will have, I think, ramifications for the actual tier list as a whole. Um, Ezo, I think, is okay. I don't. I feel like Ezo. Ezo, okay. So Ezo is obviously just very shooter centric. Like that's what you need. Um, I'm willing to put Ezo here. Ezo's okay. He's decently good, but you need a full shooter team to really get the maximum potential out of him. Um, so that's why I think he's a he's he's middle good unit tier is what I what I think. Uh, next up, we'll go these gals who I actually just recently pulled from a pirate ticket, which is very cool. I haven't used them yet, but from what I've seen, they're pretty good. Um, they are very utility centric, which. I'm thinking we put it right here. Uh, I do think, no, actually they're, they're pretty dang good. I'm thinking we actually go, I want to say, ooh, this is tough, because they are pretty decent. I'm willing to put them here, actually above, above you guys. I think they're very, very good. Very good utility, and just, you know, being able to do what they do. I'm trying to run through this as quick as possible, or relatively quick because I want to get to the real meat and potatoes of the video, which is all the other significant units, I would say. Uh, Crocodile and Doflamingo. It's been a while since these guys have really seen them in action, but I remember, if I remember correctly, they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. I know a lot of people aren't very keen on them, but I think they're very cool, and they add... Um, Oh man, if I think it's the attack orb and everything. It's a very unique legend, is what I remember. And I, I really, really appreciate that. And because of that, I'm willing to put them a little bit over middle in the good tier. So now let's go over. Uh, oh, this is tough. Uh, we'll go over the six plus of Sanji Judge. I think they're okay. You know, not too fantastic, not too great. Um, the 6 plus just made them a little bit better, just a tad bit, honestly, and I think I'm willing to put them 
Uh, man, honestly, probably right here. They're a good unit, but nothing to really write home about. So that's where they go. And next up, we will do Luffy Ace. Luffy Ace, 6 plus, it's phenomenal. I think it's one of the best 6 pluses they've actually done in the whole game. I'm willing to put them up in borderline. Now, where they are going to go, honestly, looking at it, I think I actually want to put them here. Because I do think these other units just are better in terms of what they're able to do for multiple pieces of content. Whether that be PvP, whether that be unique pieces of content, I think they're just better. Um, but Luffy Ace 6 Plus is obviously a fantastic unit. Next up, we will go ahead and go over the next 6 Plus, which is the Nami Robin. Another unit I really like. They're not borderline. I don't think they're even close to borderline. I'm willing to put them about here right next to x drake and chopper i because of their utility and just the attack boost and everything but the amount of paralysis to get rid of i i do really think that this unit is good uh definitely a better six plus than a lot of other six pluses and they corrected a lot of the wrongs with the original uh legend so next up we will go with black maria and Oh my god, I'm blanking. Um, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> they're okay, honestly. I actually want to put them right down here. I, I, they're okay, they're not fantastic. Um, Robin and Koala, another unit I just recently pulled with my with a Legend ticket. They, I think, are a lot better. Like, they provide so much just ability and utility. Being able to reduce, uh, I believe, damage threshold, which is very fantastic. And, you know, being a Cerebral unit, that also helps the Cerebral class as a whole. I'm willing to put them here. Next up, we will go continue with the Waifu trend. Nami and Carrot. This is a funny story. Uh, I remember one weekend at Basic on a Sunday when we were able to get our phones. I logged on to the game just to see, you know, what was there. And it was a treasure map and it was of this unit. And I just decided, you know, let's just do a multi, whatever I get, whatever I get. You know, obviously I'm not playing the treasure map. I pulled them twice in one multi, which is freaking crazy. And I've actually used them recently and <laughs> they are really good. I'm actually willing to say they're a borderline unit. That's how much I think they, like how good they are. I'm going to put them right behind uh, Ace and Sabo. They are a fantastic unit, and I just think um, they will age beautifully. Just of what they're able to do, reduce um, block slots into matching slots, being able to give a boost to orbs, I believe, or attack one of the, no, color affinity, my bad, color affinity with their swap, and then being able to swap block slots to colored orbs, um, massive color affinity boost. I think they're a fantastic unit. Next up, we will do, let's do Reiju, the most recent Kizuna legend, who I actually think Reiju's pretty busted. Um, now, is she a borderline unit? I'm going to keep her there, and then we'll go ahead and wrap back to her. I do think she's very strong, though. Um, Shanks and Buggy, they're a very good unit. I don't think they're borderline. I'm willing to put them up here. Uh, this this is actually the Dex Whitebeard. Yeah, Dex Whitebeard. I think they're very strong. Actually, you know what? I'm willing to put them here. So I think Big Mom, what she's able to provide, and then obviously Yasop and his dad, I think are just better units. But Shanks Buggy, definitely a fantastic unit in what they're able to do. Whitebeard versus Blackbeard. Another good unit. Um, now, I don't think they're borderline. I'm actually going to put them right here because, you know, obviously you get two units and both of them do fantastic work. I do think Whitebeard is the better survivability captain and Blackbeard is the better offensive captain. That's just my opinion. Next up, let's go Jack. Jack is Jack's a good captain, but he's even a better sub. And I actually think he's probably the best good unit close to borderline jack actually provides so much utility and obviously if you have the jack 
You have the versus Kaido, the Queen, the King, you know, all of the major beast pirates. And even this big mom. That's a team that's going to do a stupid amount of damage. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to the Toki and Odin dual unit. I don't know what they're trying to do with this unit, honestly. I think this unit is okay. I'm going to put them right here in a good. I... <laughs> they... They tried to do so much stuff with this unit and failed miserably, in my opinion. I don't think they're that great. They're cool, but they're not fantastic. All right. Now we are down here to the neat and gritty of the stuff. Let's go Momonosuke. Momonosuke is a great unit. Momonosuke is fantastic. I'm putting him in borderline. I'm going to put him right here. Come on, right here. I think Momonosuke is great, obviously an XP captain, but able to reduce attack down, um, extend attack duration, as well as had 10 turns of end of turn damage, being able to change his own slot into a Wano Orb, and as long as you keep that Wano Orb, you can extend the attack duration of everything. I think that's fantastic. Great, great captain for beginning players, 100%. Next up, let's go ahead and do Luffy Yamato. Now, Luffy Yamato... The thing that sucks about Luffy Yamato, bare min okay, so bare minimum, they're in borderline, but let's discuss this first. The thing that sucks about Luffy Yamato is that they're a Luffy and a Yamato character. Obviously, that means that they're going to have great support units, fantastic support, but it hinders their team comps quite a bit. Um, are they? I think they're a tier zero unit. I'm actually going to put them up there. Again, we will go over tier 0 and the top 5 once we get there. But we're just placing them for the moment. Sanji. Sanji is very strong. Initially when he came out, I was... You know, I understood the gravitas of how good Sanji was. But I didn't really fully understand until we've progressively gotten further and further away from his actual release. And he still is very good. And he provides so much in Kizuna and bosses just the additional damage that he's able to provide and if you put the Sai Kizuna rare recruit or no the Sai support brook on him stupid damage stupid damage next up we are going to be putting queen up here queen is obviously a very strong unit up here in borderline keep him there obviously queen on as well as with the team of the Jack and the versus Kaido and the King. Stupid strong, but Queen as a captain able to bypass through defensive effects with his Stealth Black S captain ability is very strong. I actually really like that ability a lot. All right, Zoro. Now, a lot of people might downgrade Zoro because of the, the gauge mechanic to get him fully maxed out to his uh, demon hell form, I guess. Um, but once you get there, he does a lot. He's able to double the damage taken to an opponent. Uh, by that, I mean if they have a damage cap, you're able to multiply that by two. So that's honestly very good. And being a good, he has a very, he's a, just a very good captain and it will provide a lot for the team. We're going to put him tier zero for the moment. King. King is honestly stupid strong. He does <laughs> he does so much. Silence, despair, paralysis, reduces it all on himself, and able to do a lot more for the team. Being able to provide chain growth. Uh, he's able to change orbs into whatever he has. And it's just just freaking strong. Um Alright. Next up we have Gear 5 Luffy, a unit I wanted it to be absolutely stupid strong when he first came out. He's still very strong, and we're going to be getting a 6 plus at in September, the month of this recording. We don't know anything about that yet, but, you know, he's very, very strong right now. We'll go over that more when we get to him. Big Mamu. Big Thick Cake. So Big Thick Cake is essentially another robin just for driven and powerhouse uh it's basically all she is um 
I don't <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. That's essentially what she is. And, you know, she provides support, a little bit of support for the Driven Powerhouse. But that's essentially what she is, is just a different version of Robin. And obviously, if you know how good Robin is, you know that Big Mama is going to be very good. Law and Kid. I actually, uh, I pulled them on an off-screen off summon. I'm sorry, I didn't record that, but I do have them in the collection. They're very good. I know a lot of people are saying that they're mid or that they could have been better. They do what they do. Essentially, that's all they need to do. They provide a um, defense down through resilience. They provide a chain buff. They also provide the first EX super type, even as a sub. Boosting chain, um, boosting attack. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. I forgot what else they boost. They just essentially just boost the chain multiplying growth. All right, so. Borderline, is there anybody else in here that I want to move up or down? I think Queen could be moved up. I really, really like Queen. Queen, I'm thinking, goes right here. Um, Raju, I'm actually going to move up as well. Raju is going to be moved up to right here. All right. Tier 0. Let's see. Let's start here. Luffy, Yamato. Luffy and Yamato, I'm going to be moving up. I think they are better than Bon Clay, Toki, OG Yamato, and Roger, just because you're able to get increased damage taken through immunity, which is very good. A color affinity and attack boost. Freaking amazing, powerful unit. Sanji. I'm moving Sanji up to top five legend. I didn't think it would come a day where I would put him up there, but. He's done so much to where I can't ignore it anymore. Just what he's able to provide and how much damage he provides to the team is, is very, very strong. Zoro. Zoro, I'm moving up. Not to top five. I'm moving up in tier zero. I am putting him right here. Uh, Actually, no. I'm going to put him right behind. The Luffy Yamato unit, again, Zoro does a lot. He's able to provide a lot of additional damage to your team. Make Wano orbs. He's very, very strong. King. King, I'm actually moving up. Like, uh, oof. Oof. Uh, no, I'm going to keep King right here right next to Robin. Uh, I'm not putting him above everybody else because I think they do a lot more. But King is honestly a, a very good unit. He just does so much. Gear 5 Luffy, I'm putting up in top 5. You will hear the explanation in a bit. The Thick Mamu, I'm putting right next to Robin. Honestly, wherever you have these two units, you have to have them together because they just, that's what, that's just essentially what they are. Is they have to be next to each other because they do the same thing. Kid and Law, I am putting you guys above. The Ace and Yamato unit. Now, Ace and Yamato, yes, they're able to provide an Ignite and a conditional attack boost through immunity, but I just think Kin Law provide so much chain growth that it just trumps that. And then you're also able to get the EX super type, even with them as a sub, which I think is very useful and it it's beneficial. So we have a log jam up here in the top five. What am I going to do with this top five? Well, Luffy crew moved down. And that's mainly because we have so many good Straw Hat characters now. It's, I mean, look, right here, we have a Nami. We have a Sanji and we have a Luffy. That prevents us from using gear, or the Luffy crew. But, I mean, if we're in like a Kizuna situation and you have like your team essentially set, use them as a as a like a friend captain because you're able to because that additional damage you're getting on their final tap is it's 100 percent worth it now including the rush ability that we have with these two units right here and you're able to multiply all of that damage with their final tap still makes them phenomenal but the issue is now is that they're kind of relegated to that friend captain position okay 
We need one more unit out of this top five. And it pains me to do this because I love this unit. But it's going to be versus Kaido Yamato. Not putting them above Luffy crew. I think that Luffy versus Kaido, they do... Or Kaido versus Yamato is such a great unit. Yamato does phenomenal on PvP. She does very good in Kizuna. And same with versus Kaido. Not so much in PvP, mainly Kizuna. He does an absolute boatload of damage. But I think the top five units are actually better. Now, positioning wise, I think out of this top five, I think Uta has slid back to the worst out of them. That's not necessarily to say that she's an absolute terrible unit. But with these top five, I think she is the weakest out of them. Yes, she is able to carry on an attack boost and an orb boost. And, you know, you get some utility with her captain ability, but that's essentially it. Kaido, I think, actually is a little bit better than her, but no, oh, come on. But not as good as these other three. Kaido, he's able to give you a massive orb boost. He's able to give you the tandem attack buff. He's able to inflict damage, increased damage taken to the enemy as well as further increasing that by, I believe, 0.25 if you have his tandem slot just maxed out all the way. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So all that, I think that's why he is a little bit better than Uta. Now, numbers one, two, and three. Big surprise, they're Straw Hats. Who would have thunk? Now, number three, I think it's actually going to be Sanji. Now, the reason why Sanji is number three is because, yes, he does do provide so much additional damage to your team, being able to switch into your captain, give you recovery orbs, and increase the chain and give you a chain boundary right off the bat. And he has great support. But his captain ability doesn't provide any real utility, which I think is a hindrance. Just like it's a small gripe I have with him but other than that he's fantastic obviously his rush ability is very very strong all right one and two i'm gonna trigger a lot of people i already know number one i actually think is luffy by a hair a hair i think it's luffy his rush ability a lot of people might not think it's that great, but it's very strong. Is it as strong as Sanji's? No. So why is he first? He has utility. He's able, once you transform it into gear five, he goes, he enables himself and your crew to bypass defense effects. His special, you're able to reduce one turn of barrier, dam or, uh, shield and all of that stuff. An orb boost, color affinity, very, very strong. Reduce, um bind able to reduce special reverse he does a lot is he a perfect unit no but again rush sugo he's a, he has that rush ability that does so much damage whether you want to believe it or not it does a lot and the reason and nami i mean we i really do i really need to say much about nami she's stupid strong paralysis reducer uh resilience and damage threshold reducer gave be able to give you a conditional attack boost reduce paralysis by doing so reduces your own cooldown as i'm saying this i kind of want to put her number one but i'm going to keep it like this so that's gonna be my top five i think you know honestly i would say out of this top five and maybe the first one two three four five maybe like these ten honestly i don't have a problem with if you want to make an argument for any of those units that's gonna be all for me guys i hope you enjoy and i'll see you all within the next video